Oh, right, everybody. Good afternoon. I think that's noon officially. Uh, I think that it's afternoon now. I don't know. Um, so, uh, okay. Now, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be doing a couple of other activities, okay, to wrap up Taurus season. Um, because we're going to start our Gemini season a little bit later. Um, getting into a couple of things involving Gemini subjects, acting like a Gemini, several things along those lines. Um, we're going to be doing, um, let's see, um, Gemini in my life, for those of you who are members of the clubist. Um, then they will be doing that. And, um, Melissa, Chloe, um, and Mackenzie, um, as well as Nia said that they would be really, really glad to join, as well as, um, Deborah Silverman, who will be coming here on the 26th. That's, um... And that's going to be after Memorial Day. You know, that was, you know, day after last year was Memorial Day and a Monday. And so Deborah Silverman and then um, Melody Clutter um, is the name that I was talking about who does the voice lessons and everything over there. She'll be coming on meetings and on occasions. So, um... Some days I will be leading it, I will be hosting it, I will be in charge, but a lot of the times I will be letting Deborah do quite a bit of it. I'll do some, and she'll do um, the other half of it um, as well. And then um, maybe Melody can put in some, like, little, you know, all the little activities, you know, for example, singing talking, writing, all of those Gemini assets that we're going to be approaching um, in the clevis. But um, we'll talk about that later. I do have the physical copy of the book that you're all going to be receiving today if you are all members. So that should be super, super exciting. Now, um, with that, which will, um, which it will be meeting a little bit later, and hopefully when the sun rises up into the clouds, you know, we can really get into it, because I do not want to waste this gorgeous weather that we're having right now. I really want you to take advantage. So anyway, um, let's see. Let's see here. So, horoscope today is sun and moon are both in Gemini. And again, you can go on to Deborah Sullivan Astrology. You can look up the horoscope for today and watch it. Um, now, um, I have sent an email because she's been doing these videos. Because everybody's going through a very, very rough and stressful time with this pandemic. So she's been making fine under pressure videos. But... Here's the thing, I'm very, very disappointed in her because she has not been posting them on her channel, her YouTube channel. She has been posting them on her Facebook page, and I can't always access it, so hopefully one day there will be a playlist and there will be all of those videos in that playlist that I can recommend for you all to watch. Excuse me, let me get the chair. So, anyway, um, that's that. I just wanted to tell you about a couple things. Okay, so, um, now, um, Okay, so the really, really last thing that we're going to be doing for Taurus season is you're going to be doing Taurian subjects. You're going to be doing Taurian subjects. So what you're going to be doing is um, you're going to be, I have on my page um, a document. It's, um, you know, it's a little chart. And you're going to be finding anything that has to do with, um, with Torian interests. 
um, anything having to do with the senses or you know anything you know practical with money or decision making or all of those Torian you no know, Torian things Torian aspects. So the flavor of Venus, and then we're gonna move into Mercury. Um, okay, so let's see here. Um, so um, with this, with this thing. Maybe you could look at a dish. Maybe you could look at, um, you know, an art piece. Maybe you could listen to music. Put, put what it is down in the category that says Torian thing. And then, um, you know, or Torian asset chart, rather. And then, and the next one you're going to be putting just a, just a screenshot of what it looks like on your computer, because that's your evidence. And then there'll be a third box that has a reflection on what it is, why did you like it, why didn't you like it, what did you find interesting, what did you learn from it, what I recommended or what I not recommend. So that's what that is, okay, and then the next thing that I want you to do is Taurus Career, okay, so Taurus Career, I want to try this. So, with Taurus Career, you're going to be going on my page and there is going to be a little document that you're going to be opening up to that says, you know, exactly what I said, Taurus Career. And so, um, you're going to, um, you know, you know, it says as the first question, pick your Taurus career. And then you're going to be going in and you're going to be, um, you're going to be, you know, um, you know, find something related to a Taurus. Anything having to do with the senses or anything, you no know, business or management. Related. For example, I would be doing, um, I would be doing an artist, an artist because they're very, very good with, you know, seeing things and maybe even feeling things, um, or it could be a chef or anything else. So, find something, put it in there, you know, and say, um, you know, give basically what the career is, and it's not even an essay like you did on your reflection. But there's just a variety of questions that you're going to need to answer to. So the first one is, what is the career? Write the thing down. And then the next question asks, you know, give a gist of it. Give, you know, tell me information on what it is. Then, the third one is, um, how is this related to Taurus? Or how 